Recently, I made a video looking at Vite and why I now prefer creating new React projects with Vite rather than create React app. I'll link to it below if you haven't watched it yet. One thing I wanted to do is to migrate an older project of mine to Vite, since the time it takes to start the application with create React app and Webpack is just way too long now. I will admit that I haven't made much of an effort to speed up the boot time through refactoring the app. But not being an expert at Webpack, I really don't think I can make much of a difference without switching out bundlers. So watch as we go from 14 seconds to start the app all the way down to under one second. So I'm gonna start by creating a new branch. Um, I'm just gonna call it Vite Conversion. And I found an article here by Dara O'Riordan, uh, which I'm gonna try and follow and let's see if that works. So thank you Dara for writing this up and hopefully you will get me across the line. So step one here is update my package JSON. So I need to uh, change it to use Vite. Um, I need to delete React scripts from my dependencies section. Uh, we will delete React scripts. Okay, so I have some custom commands in here. I'm going to change my start to Vite, if that's correct. Um, I have build, change that to I don't know if this test thing will work or not. Um, I don't need eject anymore. Um, also Vite. Might need start, I'm not sure. Serve uh, I don't have that right now. Interesting. Um, I will add it. Save that. And I need to add some new dev dependencies for Vite. So instead of manually adding them, I'm going to yarn add dash D this one. Uh, that one and feet. Okay, so dev dependencies, I have that, this and that. Uh, well, there's that command I could do. Thank you. Um, and you can add post CSS A plus to dependencies now if you need it. I don't. Now I need a vite config.ts. Now I'm not yet on TypeScript. Um, that will come hopefully. Um, but I'm going to do a JS file. Uh, this is the basic configuration apparently. So let's just copy this across. Make sure there's nothing TypeScript specific in there. Now let's save that. This is TypeScript stuff. So I don't think I need to worry about this for now. So let's just run yarn. So I need to move my index.html file, which is here in public. Where I move it from public out to the root of the project. So just drag it there. Yep. And update the content. Yeah, index.html. Remove any public URL references from the file. Just replace that string with empty string. Um, so, well, just delete it really, is that what you're saying? One, two. And add a script tag with the project entry point. That is done just below the root. I'm just going to do this here, and that's index.jsx. Make sure that's what I have here. That's in source. Index. 
index.js. Yeah. So this is quite an old project. Um, definitely needs some work to update to TypeScript is something I want to do. It's going to be a big project though, so I haven't tackled it just yet. Now the env vars cannot start with React app. They must start with Vite. I don't really want to do this because I also have them elsewhere, other not just in the code. Um, so I'd have to change them uh, where it's being hosted as well. So I've actually found this uh, more up to date blog post, which makes mention of Vite plugin env compatible. So I'm gonna copy this command. Let's pump this up a bit. Um, yarn add, cool. That's running then add the following to vconfig.js, which is here. And oh, that's not copyable. So env prefix that goes inside of define config. And that allows us to change the prefix that it's expecting. I need an underscore there as well. So this is more up to date. Perhaps I should pay more attention to this. So, so we will add vhjs plugin react. And instead of react refresh, we will do Yep, change this to React. And we need env compatible with here. Sometimes you may use one or more package that uses Node.js built-in and globals. Well, we'll find out if I'm doing that. SVG files, that's a good one because we know that SVG files don't really work. I do have a logo SVG. So, we actually can import files here. Yeah. It's not gonna work in beat. So we do have uh, this from the other uh, tutorial that we've installed. That's good. Okay. So if I run yarn start, What's going to happen? Mm, something wrong with my vconfig. Inf compatible is not defined. Oh, well, I guess I need to import it. Import inf compatible. You're not going to tell me where. Okay, I have to do it myself. Feet plugin and compatible. There it is. Save that and try that again. Okay, the JSX syntax extension is not currently enabled. The yes build loader for this file is currently set to JS, but it must be set to JSX to be able to parse the JSX syntax. You can lose loader JS, JSX to do that. Okay, so maybe this one. Uh, I think this is because all my JSX is really in JS files, which I wish I hadn't done. The last one is proposal row JS JSX. Let's see if that fixes that error for it. And yeah, so now elements.js, 51 errors. So that means there's 51 files that I need to fix. Um, cool. Cool, 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 It's gonna be a quicker way to do this. 
VS Code rename file extensions. I click the selected files and choose rename X items. Oh gosh. Let's see. Rename .js replace with .jsx. Oh, apply to all. Oh, that's a neat trick. All right, so I'll do it in here. Um, add that. And whoa, did that work? Nope. So I can't find the index.js. So I should be looking for this. But did I rename it to index.jsx? Appointments page from AppJSX. Okay. So there was a problem with the path there, which was interesting that didn't get picked up before. Failed resolve admin routes from app.jsx. So where's admin? Wow. Is that going to be a problem as well? Contract. Gateway. So weird that these never got picked up before, or does Webpack have a way of getting around it? Lib paths. Oh, you know, I think this is, yeah, I think this is to do with aliases. So this is an app wrapper. So how do I fix this? App wrapper. Okay, so I do have an issue with the aliases here and I've been trying to fix it, um, but it's not working exactly as I would like. So I can actually define an alias in the vconfig. Um, vconfig and it goes under, uh, we don't have resolve here, so the whole thing. Uh, so let's put that here. And yeah, I think I like that. And I'm gonna say at, how does that work? Do I do at slash? No, oh, that's not working. Path is not defined. What have I done in here? All right, so what if I do from auth wrapper? I do app slash hooks. Now I'm going to 
commit all this because I want to do a big find and replace and I don't want to mess everything else up if it's all wrong. Um, so uh, V conversion, step one, add everything and commit that. And I am on that branch, yeah, good. So I'm gonna do from components and I'm gonna do a replace with from at components and replace all. And let's see what happens. Go back into the app wrapper and undo what I've done there. There we go. At hooks. Uh, gateway loader. And that would be, let's do at hooks here. And what are we failing to import here? Config Firebase. Contracts. Okay, so there's a problem with my environment variables. And if I had a look at this, um, I have used and inf compatible. Uh, one thing you have to do for sure, wherever you use process.env, you have to change it to import.meta, okay. So let's have a search for that. Process.env, I replace that with import.meta.env. Well, let me commit all this first. So fix imports and alias. Commit that. And then I can do a find and replace here. Let me start the server just to be sure. Oh, and we have our app running now. It doesn't look great because I commented out that, that at design CSS, but that is an important for now. I can come back and fix that. Um, the important thing is I have now converted this app from create react app to Vite. Um, so I'm really happy with that. The boot time of the server is so much quicker. One, look at that 193 milliseconds. Um, and it's ready for me to go. Um, so this was the main driver for uh, converting it for me. Um, so I'm going to offline try and fix that CSS issue and anything else that might come up. But um, this is a good start. So let me see if I can log in. And there's the app running. Um, so yeah, I just need to fix that CSS issue and we're done. So if you've made it this far, thank you for watching. Um, thanks for sticking with it. I know it might be a bit laborious, but it's probably good to see how these things can be done and you just need to be patient and sort of stick with it. Um, so if you haven't already, please like the video, please subscribe to my channel and hopefully see you in the next video. Thanks.